Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 3501 also known as a regulatory model which is a P90F and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery or remove the battery in case you need to. Uh, you can do this at home and uh, you don't have to worry about reconfiguring the system or installing anything you just plug in and play type all right the tools that you're gonna need it's really simple it's a screwdriver set and an opening tool for the screwdriver set i'll be using an i fix it screwdriver set and you can get the pro version they will include you an opening tools and tweezers if not just grab the simple screwdriver set and we're gonna grab a uh, phillips number zero for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So we're going to grab one of these. Now we're going to start removing all the screws at the bottom cover, except two screws, one in the corner back and the one in the other side corner back. So we're going to remove all of them, keep them in one pile, except those two. Also, if you like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it be a great motivation for me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the video comments so i appreciate that all right once all the screws are removed now we are left with the two screws that i told you not to remove these two screws they have a little c lock on them so that means once you twist it will not come out entirely and the c lock will help to separate the covers from the palm rest from the bottom cover so we're going to start twisting and you're going to see a separation right there so that's what you want to see that separation right there and you want to do the same thing on this side all right once we have this separation right there now all you need to do is to grab your opening tool and you stick it right between the openings and all you need to do is just twist it upward and you want to hear a few clicks that's what you want to hear and run across go to the left and right side to the corner front and all the way back once you have this uh, bottom front loosened up just lift it up and there you have it now the battery will be right in front of you right here the model for the battery it is right over here it's YRDD6 so that's double D so YR double D6 3500 milliamp hour batteries to remove it there's a three screws holding and one right in here there and one right there so we're gonna go ahead and remove these three screws so go ahead and remove it Once you remove the three screws, now all you need to do is to pick up the battery and release it from this corner. Just pull it forward a little bit and then it will release itself. Bring it back. The contact, you want to put your fingernails at the sides and pull it back evenly and it will release the contact right there. You can disconnect this jack just by pulling it backward. You need this adapter to put on the new battery. Once you get the new battery, put the adapter right on it. Bring it in an offset position, make sure the contact is straight going in evenly, you don't want to put it sideways, it has to go in evenly, you just squeeze them together, bring the back side, slide it right under the hook, bring it over and put the three screws right on it. Remember once you power on the laptop, it might take 5 to 10 seconds for it to boot up, so don't panic, just take your time and be patient and wait and it will just load up just normally once you finish putting up the screws all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover bring it over put it right on top and just squeeze it down make sure those clicks you don't want to push down the corners you just want to tighten up the screws and it will pull the cover back to itself and that's it do they want on the left and on the right side if you guys have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws and that should cover this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.